and welcome back to my channel. So, I was watching some videos, right? And I was watching some curly girl hack videos. And this is one of the number one things I kept saying in every single video. It's blow drying and drying your hair with a strainer. I kept seeing it and I was just like, that's kind of interesting. I kind of get it. It like keeps the hair in one place while you're drying it. So it's not like all over the place. So I'm like, okay, let me try it out. So since we about to try it out. And I've never used my Dyson in a video, y'all. So I was like, well, I kind of use it, but I don't necessarily talk about it. First of all, I freaking love the darn thing. It's beautiful. Look at it. It's beautiful. It looks all like fancy. The, the heat comes out of this, by the way. Um, you have three settings here and three settings here. So you can go the heat settings. You can It goes up three levels. And then the airflow setting goes up three levels as well. This is the on and off button. And this is the cold shock button. And this is also the filter that you can just like unlock and clean and then put it back on. And you're good to go. The cord is super duper long and it's bomb. So, yeah. Got my strainer, girl. Let's just try it out, y'all. I got this from the stove. You know, shoot. So what they say you do, well, what it look like they do is put their hair in it and start to dry. Wait, I'm scared I'm going to mess up my hair. Y'all know normally I sit under a hooded dryer, but for the sake of this video, we're not going to do that. We're going to just do this. So I think you just like put your hair in the strainer. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Get in now. Okay. Thank you. Put your. Wait. I need. I need a better. I need a better hold. Hold on. Let me do. Let me do my left hand. Okay. Okay. That's what we're doing. So it's. It kind of. You see, it's kind of scrunching. Scrunching the hair, and also um, but the airflow, the hold. So I see. I see where we're going. So let's just try it out. Blowing kind of hard, so just put that down. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this feels a little weird, and I have no idea what I'm doing. <clears throat> Let's proceed. First of all, I'm gonna point out that I ain't got time for this, <laughs> and it's still wet like, wet, wet. But, for the sake of the video, we gonna keep it going. I think that's how you do it. Hmm. For real, for real? Y'all, it's getting dry, y'all. Like, for real, for real. Okay, so I was literally just about to say, I'm about to say F this and go sit under the dryer. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all, my hair is kinda dry right now. Like, I still think I would sit under the dryer to get my roots done. But I'm really not mad at this. I'm really not, I'm not mad, mad. I'm not mad. Show sure ain't. Alright, now we're gonna be buying up all the strainers. Sister. Sister. All right, but I'm going I'm to crank this heat up, though, because I don't think... Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so not mad at this. It's really getting dry, but my curls look good. I don't have any frizz. First of all, I think I need to split this section up. Stop being like that. Y'all stop texting me. I'm trying to try this out, friend. Friend, I'm trying to try this out. Okay, hold on. I need that clip. I need that clip. Where that clip? What? Where that clip? Where that clip? What? Where, where that clip? Uh. Whoop whoop. Put it over that. Too bad. Okay, hold on. Y'all just texting me. What you texting me for, friend? Trying to dry my hair, friend. 
I'm trying to join my hand friend. That really is y'all. Y'all saying good morning to me on Instagram. Good morning, girl. We kind of dry though. I'm not even gonna lie. We legit kind of dry. Just gonna put that in that strainer like that right there. Boom. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, so my ends are dry, right? Roots ain't dry, sis, though, but that's okay, though. That is okay. Okay. I'm going to get into why I say that in a minute, but I'm going to just keep on going. I'm going to try to dry my whole head using the strainer. You know, trying to figure it out. Okay. Dang, I put a little dent in my hair. Yikes, my bad. But, this dry, though, is not bad. Okay. Moving on. This side dry way better than this side. Maybe I'm impatient on this side. Mm -hmm, I think I'm a little impatient. I'm like, come on, hurry up. Let me get my patience back so that I can dry my hair though for real. I'm trying to look at different ways of like putting my hair into this thing to get the best results. So it's just trial and error, y'all. All right. So my hair seems to have dried. Pretty well at the ends and stuff, but the roots says no. <laughs> the roots ain't done. But it's I feel like it's dried enough for me. Y'all still got a big wet clump right here. It's kind of dry enough for me to be able to just like blow dry it now. I feel like this part is hot, it's dry, this part is dry, but it's just the roots. All right, so this is what my hair looks like after I've used it. I haven't completely dropped my hair with it because I'm tired, y'all. I need a break. It ain't even been that long. My patience just right now is just very, very thin. <laughs> just being honest. But it is drying it. Definitely drying it. So I'm going to just keep going. Like I said, it's dry right in this area but the roots and stuff are not dry so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go sit under the dryer because you know the dryer gets the roots and it dries down i've kind of messed up my curls over here so i don't know but the back curls look really good i don't know and these curls look really good so i don't know i'm gonna sit under the dryer and let the top kind of dry and then come back and see Kind of what we're working with but i think it's really dry like i could just go ahead and blow dry my roots but i don't want to i want to just go sit in the dryer because there's a big patch of wetness right here and i don't know i don't want to make it too frizzy so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'm gonna come right back okay y'all so i'm back and my hair is dry i sat under the dryer for a little bit and my hair is dry and i would say that i like this middle part <laughs> but i did get some frizzy weird pieces over here when I was doing the whole strainer thing. So I want to tell you guys kind of my final thoughts about this strainer technique. I do like it. Like the reason I say I like it is because when I was on vacation and I wanted to wash my hair, y'all, it took forever for my hair to dry. And I think if you're going on vacation and you want your hair to super dry really quickly, this might be something you want to take on that trip with you because you can dry your hair, like at least dry the curls a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And they look really nice and really tamed. But then let the rest air dry, but you ain't looking like a wet dog because the bottom is dry. So only thing left to dry is your roots. The only, time, only reason I sat under the dryer is because I ain't got time today. 
and I have a dryer and I'm at home, but if you don't have a hooded dryer and you want to do something like that, you want to blow dry, you want to do something quick, I do think this is a good hack. I really, really do. It, it allows for your hair to be in a controlled setting within this, but the air is flowing continuously. I don't know if other blow dryers are going to be just as good as the Dyson was, but I do like the technique. Like, I feel like this is something I am going to be using. Um, I am going on vacation. Like, I want to do a curly girl vacation. Like, all the other curly girls, they be in the water and it curls be like, boop, boop, you know what I'm saying? I do want to do that, but after I swim, I know I need to wash my hair. So, this will probably be, like, something I take on a trip with me. I don't know. But I, I really do think I will. Um... I got this one from Walmart. I mean, y'all, it's a strainer. I ain't gonna tell y'all where to get no stack strainer. But if you having trouble finding one, I will link one below from Amazon for you guys. So, a strainer. Like, what? I do like the fact that it keeps your curls up. And I'm sure it, like, you know, sets it a little bit better as, a, as opposed to it being, like, really shrunk, like, really elongated a lot of times. It gives you that nice little, like, plump, you know? I don't know. I like it. And I feel like I can stretch it from here or I can leave it and just let it get bigger from here. I'm not mad at it. I think I think it's a good, I think it's a good hack. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.